craziest week I ever been in my life. 12 years of career and never <laughs> did it happen. Never. Oh god, I fly high and they can't do it. My name is Justin Roberts and my friend Rob and I went to Serbia for three weeks of 15Ks. Rob won the first week in Pirot and I lost first round, so I spent the week on the practice court getting reps. We had no clue that for the next two weeks we'd be fighting rain delays and tournament organizers non-stop. Will we get to finish the tournaments or will the rain get in the way? Yeah, where the fuck are we? I don't know, Dari, but it's not, <laughs> it's not as bad as I expected. We are staying in Kusumlia, about 15 minutes from the site. This apartment was 18 euros each per night, as opposed to the tournament hotel on site. That would have cost us 70 euros each per night. But we do have to share a taxi, which is about 10 euros each way. Let's see how it goes here. <laughs> Corner shop, no eggs. Gotta walk 10 minutes in the rain for breakfast. It's your wet or stuff? Which one? We should have known it was gonna be a long week. The rain stopped around midday and at 3.30 in the afternoon, they had locked all the courts. But how do we build character with no adversity? No! It's like 10 minutes before the time and no update. How long do you take to respond? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, supervisor. Yeah, and it's 11.47 and they're still, and it says tw it starts at 12. <laughs> what is he doing, bro? Fucking should report him to IT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. Come out the street, bro. Uh, oh, get a fly home. They cancel this. Come on, loser. So today is Monday, and you're in semi-finals. Your last hit of the tennis ball was when? Like five years ago. <laughs> What's the update? What are we doing now? Uh, we came here early, thinking that we were gonna play, because we're playable, but yeah. they're not, so we go back now and spend 50 euros in taxi and try to come back later. And today is the last day before they decide if the tournament is uh, cancelled. How do you feel about it? <laughs> you won't get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> if it does, I'm out of here. <laughs> Status? Typically, ITF qualies run from Sunday to Tuesday, and then the main draw runs from Tuesday to Sunday. And today is Monday, and they haven't finished even the semifinals from last week, and they haven't even started the qualies yet. It's 11.30 right now, and they canceled men's qualies for today already, which was 32 matches, and they're gonna try to play women's qualies, and they're also gonna try to finish the semis from last week. They canceled last week's doubles already, so let's see what happens. It's also supposed to rain this week, and at 1.30, let's get an update. It's like 11.30 now. I don't know, man. It's not looking, it's not looking good, bruv. You gonna play today? You gonna play today? <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, bro? Yes, I have a chance to make some points. 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. Let's go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> what a blessing. This is probably going to be my only chance to hit on this day after the rain. So the goal was just to be as clean as possible, as you can see there. And just try to have a good, solid hit and get the most out of it because there was no real chance to get court time due to the weather and them locking on the courts.
My main focus in this hitting session was transferring my weight, especially on the backhand side. I have a tendency to let the ball play me a little bit. So as you can see, I'm really exaggerating, getting the weight on the front foot and lifting my back leg off the ground, making sure my weight is fully transferred into the shot. Once Rob was done warming up, I was lucky enough to hit with his opponent's hitting partner and get a few games in. We may have been the only people without matches that day to get some points in. Check out this serve routine. Gotta call out the pump fake. So Rob is up against lefty from Russia, Andrei Chepelev. Very good player, in career high in the 300s. After two days of no hitting, the level was pretty high. Guys were playing a lot of physical points, both of them trying to find their forehands to the other guy's backhand. Yeah, really, really tough conditions. After the rain, it's very slow out there, so you have to really construct points and be careful when you're coming in. You can get past much easier if they have more time to let the ball sit. For me, Rob's best chance of winning today was using his forehand to dictate and then getting in. But Chapelev was very good on defense and then when he had the chance to sort of open the court with his forehand angles, he did a great job of that. And like you can see here, extending rallies, very good on the defense and just making the guy make bad decisions. Very good match, very physical match, and I think this is what Rob needs to do a little bit more of. Watching these matches, you see how important discipline and the mental side are. The level is so close that the guy who's going to be a little bit more disciplined and a bit more ready mentally to fight can definitely run away with it. <laughs> so that's all she wrote, huh? Getting out of here. Out of here, right away. So Rob left, it's just me. Apartment to myself. They uh, pushed back main draw to Thursday. Was actually lucky enough to get on court today and hit for about an hour. Played about three service games. Felt a bit heavy, a bit luggy, so I did some some sprints after some explosive stuff. And then yeah, we got one more day tomorrow to prepare and hopefully yeah perform better this next week. I played against the guy who won to the tournament last week, so he's in good form. And it's another chance for me to see kind of where I'm at and try to push forward. It's Wednesday and due to bad weather, they have suspended qualities once again. And I might also not be able to practice today. So I decided to do a little bit of a short circuit here at the Airbnb. Just to keep the body moving and the blood flowing. They got me walking in the rain with an umbrella. Sick. No stuff up. Fight. Let's try it again today. Update. So, they were supposed to start at 9 a.m. And now it's been pushed back to 12. And I am sixth match on. And I remember earlier this week they said there would be no matches past 7 p.m. So, you do the math. But... I'm at the Airbnb, I've already listened to an audio book, I've already done mobility, I've already skipped rope. All I can do now is just try to wait it out. It rained again. My match is cancelled. So maybe gym this afternoon. And let's see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Friday morning, they're still on second round qualies. Looks like it rained last night. So another day that looks like it's gonna be a little bit longer than we want it to be. 
we fight. All right, Friday canceled. They didn't play a single match today and it barely rained, but they said now the tournament's gonna be ending on Sunday night and I will play my first round tomorrow, Saturday, not before 3.30 p.m. So now I'm out here at a little soccer field in the, in the town. Do some movement, just keep the body moving, get the blood flowing and tomorrow we go. The toughest part about the rain delays for me was being stuck inside all day, every day. So it was just nice to get outside and do some tennis movements. When you're laying down all day, every day, all your body wants to do is lay down some more. I wanted to do some tennis movement, so I would be ready whenever I did get back on court. I didn't really mind being alone that much this last week here in Serbia, but to stay sharp mentally, I did a bit of visualization every day, just seeing myself execute my patterns in different match situations. We got action, sun shining. I play not before 3.30 this afternoon. It's about 9 a.m. right now. Yeah, man. Just happy to have a chance to play some tennis and then the yeah, tournament's gonna be done on Sunday night no matter what. So no it's gonna be no win at this tournament, but at least you get to play for something. A couple of points, some dollars, and then get back to Florida. I just checked the ITF site to see where they are with the courts. It's 9 30. And they're apparently starting at eleven. So they actually cancelled all the main matches for today. They're gonna finish another qualifying round today. And then I guess we'll start tomorrow, but tomorrow is Sunday and tournament's over tomorrow. So, it's done. I don't understand how the tournament's still going. Like, I don't get the point. They haven't finished qualities yet. How are they going to start the main draw on Sunday and end the event on Sunday? All right, back on the field. Get some work in. Saturday, tomorrow's the last day of the event and the first day of the event. That's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Tennis movement is very explosive and laying down all day doesn't really keep you feeling explosive. So I wanted to do a quick workout where I was just jumping and landing and pushing off to kind of mimic those explosive movements that you need to be effective on the court. Pull up to the side. I heard whispers of there possibly being some matches added to the schedule. So I'm going to check these courts out and see See what it's looking like. No clue why they aren't playing on this court. Uh. They said the priority goes to playing matches, but they have this court here perfectly fine to use and no match on it, just practices. Makes no sense. Not me. But people are saying the tournament director, who also happens to own the facilities and the hotel, is not in any rush to finish the tournament because the longer people stay, the more nights they have to pay 70 euros and buy food. People are saying this. Not me. I have uh, Juan Pablo Paz here. Yeah. Explain to me what happened this week. The craziest week I've ever been in my life. 12 years of career and never <laughs> this shit happens. Never. Uh, yeah, of course, the first days of the week was raining, was for, let's say, two days, from Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday was raining. Then from Wednesday, no more rain. Maybe till Wednesday till today was one hour and a half, two hours maximum rain, and no matches. The quali started to play again, it started on Monday, and then the next day we played quali was Saturday. Bro. Saturday, <laughs> I never saw this in my life, man. Saturday, second round of quali, it's ridiculous. We were here whole week doing nothing, waiting to Spain hotel, trying to see if we can, I don't know, some way try to practice a little bit, but no chance. And nothing, but today is Sunday, we're gonna play first run, first run on main First run and last run, main run today. Run. <laughs> if the tournament is gonna finish on second run, it's something ridiculous. I don't know, you tell me, how's that conspiracy theory looking with the hotel trying to make some money from the players this week? I'm playing one match today, getting out of here. Three hour bus to Belgrade, 7 a.m. flight, journey back to Florida. I've had enough. And now I'm hearing that we're playing the matches without any referee. 
I've never seen that before. Maybe that's allowed because of the situation, but yeah, no ref. And apparently also the lights are working now because all week they were playing up until 7 p.m. And now all of a sudden when the 75K women's event starts, the lights work. Yeah, but I think I'm starting to believe this conspiracy. It's unclear whether if we run out of light on our match courts, if they will let the 15K matches finish under the lights tonight. I have a bus in two hours. The match before me started at 10.45. It's now 1.30 and I still haven't played. And imagine that there are four rounds of matches after me or three after me to finish the first round of singles matches. So I don't know, man. I don't know if we're gonna get it done. I've asked the referee if we will be able to play under the lights. They tell me they don't know. So it's a bit of a coin flip at this, at this point. Woo! Got the win, and now I've made it to Belgrade to the hotel. I fly out tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., so I gotta wake up and leave this hotel around 4.20 in the morning. But that was a crazy day. I finished my match at 3.40, and my bus is at 4.30, because the match before me went long. The ladies' match went almost three hours, and there was only two sets and a 10 point tie break. Then I had to run and get my prize money and the medical withdrawal form for the next event all done by four o'clock. And it's like a 300 meter run from the courts to the uh, player's desk and the supervisor. And then it's another 200 meters to the hotel to get the uh, prize money and the medical exemption thing signed by the physio. Then run back to the reception I did all of that in 20 minutes, right after my match. Didn't even have time to shower. Straight onto the bus. I did spray a little bit of deodorant so the lady next to me wasn't, wasn't in pain. I changed my clothes as well and my socks. I had a five hour bus ride from Kosomlia to Belgrade. And then I friggin' had to stop up and charge because my phone was on 20%. When I left, 30% when I left, and got here, got shafted by the by the taxi man, 50 euros for a 20 minute drive, but how else am I going to get to the hotel? Uh, but yeah, all in all, great day. The trip, I lost two, three centers on this trip. I lost one in 10 point tie break because last week we also had a rain delay situation, so I had to play a 10 point breaker for the third set, and today I was just a lot more steady in terms of playing the right patterns and playing with the right structure and the points that were important and it paid off and yeah first win on the itf tour this year which is a big relief after all the stuff i've been through it sucks we couldn't actually finish the tournament with all the the scandalous uh, scheduling issues and no lights and this and that but Great that I got the first round done and they're going to finish all the matches today so the points count. And yeah, heading back home, going to play a PTT and then back on the, on the tour after that. Uh, you made it this far. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.